Hey, I'm Crystal, and I'm the producer behind one of our favorite recipes here at Goodfall, which is healthy, delicious, and most importantly, sustainable. So grab a colander and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is separate the live clams from the dead clams. We're gonna toss out the dead ones and put the live ones into our colander. So the way to tell if a clam is dead is to take a look at it, and if you give it a little tap or you squeeze it closed and it doesn't shut on its own, it's probably dead. So you can go ahead and discard it. If, however, you pick up a clam and you tap on it and it shuts on its own, then you know it's alive. Just be careful to not let it pinch your fingers. So a really important step when cooking with clams is to make sure that we clean them really well beforehand. We're gonna wanna scrub off all of the impurities on the outside of the shell, like barnacles, and then we're also going to clean the inside. And the way we do that is by salting a bowl of water really, really well, so it sort of emulates seawater. And then we just let the clams sit in there for a few hours up to overnight. The salty water allows the clams to purge themselves of grit and sand and filter the water, pushing out any of the impurities. After we let them sit in the salted water, we're gonna move them to a bowl of clean water, and that'll allow them to sort of spit out all that salt and get them ready for cooking. There are a lot of benefits to choosing clams over other types of seafood. Not only are they a really great source of protein, but they're also high in omega-3 fatty acids, iron, vitamin B6, and B12. And on top of that, they're just a responsible choice because they're are more sustainable. What we mean is that hand-farmed clams are more sustainable because they cause less disruption to the environment. You see, normally with farmed fish, they require food to maintain themselves, and that food is generally other, smaller fish that are harvested from the ocean, which obviously has negative impacts because by feeding the fish from the ocean to the farmed fish, we're depleting the food supply for the wild fish. But the cool thing about clams is that they don't require feeding since they filter their nutrients from the water that they're in. There is nothing better to serve this dish with than a really nice baguette, and it's super easy to make it look really impressive. All you need to do is slice it up, put some olive oil and a little bit of sea salt on either side, and then use a grill pan to get those nice crispy marks in it, and it's perfect to dip in the juice, and oh, it's the best. I like to add red pepper flakes to this dish because I love the little bite that it gives it, but if you don't like spice, feel free to leave this step out. Next, we wanna add a little bit of dry white wine to our aromatics. A cheap Sauvignon Blanc always works for me. And we just wanna give it enough time to let the alcohol sort of cook out, but leave behind all that great flavor. We're gonna finish up our broth by adding a little bit of brown sugar, fish sauce, and vegetable broth. If you don't have fish sauce at home, don't worry, you can totally replace this with soy sauce. Make sure to go with the canned coconut milk here and not the one that comes in a carton. There's a really big difference and the one that comes in a can is gonna give us that little bit of creaminess that we're looking for. It's the final step. All we have to do is add our clams to our broth. And when you do this, be ready because they're gonna cook so fast. Finally, I like to garnish the clams with some scallions and cilantro because I think it gives it just a really bright, fresh flavor. So the next time that you're craving seafood, you should definitely try this recipe or another one that has maybe mussels or oysters because at the end of the day, they're just a more responsible and sustainable option. <laughs> Did you hear my stomach growl? <laughs> it's because I'm thinking about the clams. <laughs>